Hey everybody, how's it going? Jimmy the Dark County Picker, and I am back with another video. And today is Sunday, February 5th, and we're heading to the Goodwill Bins. Do we need to go? No. We definitely don't need to go, but I've been hearing, because I haven't been to the Bins in a while, and I haven't put out a video in a while, so I've been hearing that the Goodwill Bins outlet, whatever you guys call them, have been putting or shipping stuff to shopgoodwill.com so I'm wondering if mine does as well I don't know we'll soon to find out it is currently 9 50 a.m. takes me about 50 minutes to an hour to, to get to the nearest Goodwill outlet that we have here and they open up at 11 a.m. so let's get to it <laughs> Another side note, everybody asks if I do, if I do the 127 garage sales. Well, yeah, because I just turned off my road, and this is 127 right here, so that is how close I am to 127. Alright, so we just arrived to the Goodwill Bins outlet, whatever you guys call it. I call it the Bins because you sift through blue bins. So it's currently 10.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in Ohio, and... There is the Goodwill bins. You see there's people actually out there. So the rules for myself is, if you do not believe me, you can watch Dustin the Pro Picker's video. He got kicked out of this bins right here. And I got threatened to be kicked out as well. So that's why I'm currently filming out in the parking lot telling you right where I'm at. So, more or less, if I find anything good, or whatever I pick up, I'll do a little haul video, so... Anyways, just sit out here for a few more minutes and just relax for a little bit and get in picker mode. So I'll see you guys here in a few seconds. All right, so we are finished. Um, spent a total of $46. And we filled the Ikea bag. Um, it was kind of slim pickings on clothes today, man. They were switching them out fast, but really not much vintage wise so I, I had to look at other options which it's a good thing about being at the bins you can learn new things and just never know what you're going to find in there did get some personal things that will work great with the business um definitely gonna make our money back that's always the perks of everything so let's see if we can show you a little bit there it is. We got the IKEA bag stuff full. Got three hats, which at our bins they charge us 50 cents a piece. Got the Wu Tang Clan hat. This should be about 20 to 25 dollars. This Nike running visor should be another 15 bucks. Obviously, this is going in the personal. I mean, if I ever golf or anything, definitely wearing the visor. This little guy, believe it or not, sells for about $10 to $15. Then you see the million dollar item right here. That's right. Vintage Aaron Beanie Baby. At least worth $5,000. Just kidding. Probably literally about $10 or $12. Got this 2001 Civic Body Repair Manual book. Pretty decent shape. Should be another oh, 15 bucks. Got all these large, big, large poly bags. Look at this. Crazy. Probably at least got maybe 50 of those. So definitely thank you to that person. Yeah, I'm not going to go through all these, but as you can tell, we got a vintage dead stock. Flannel should be about fifteen, eighteen dollars. Got Tommy Bahama um, swimming trunks. Got the single stitch nineteen eighties Harley Davidson. Uh, let's see. 
Got some what is this? NASCAR. Definitely got some NASCAR stuff. Got all these plaid shirts in here. They should. I think we picked up eight of them. They should go for about ten or ten to twelve dollars a piece, which flannels are going pretty good right now. As you can tell. So we got NASCAR tees. Got another vintage one that will definitely need an oxy bath. Or if you like to sell dirty stuff, just sell it as is and have fun getting the negative feedback, right? Who cares about cleaning? Picked up about four or five Simply Southern items. Should be another about $15, $18. Got this Lincoln Outfitters camo jacket. This right here should bring about 30 plus shipping and Good thing we got the poly bags because now I got something to ship it in. Always works out. And yeah, we just got clothes for days. So all in all, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna do pretty good with everything because we're pretty much in the pennies and a dollar on the clothing. So if they start averaging out ten to fifteen dollars per thing, definitely easy ship list. So yeah, that's about it, man. I am worn out. What time is it? Let's see. It's currently 2.50 p.m. So yeah, it was definitely a long day in there. So. so if you guys haven't, please like, comment, subscribe. And like always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you. I found one more thing because I forgot I put it after I checked out in my front pocket so I wouldn't lose it. Yeah definitely pretty cool so it's probably not worth anything but to me i'm just going to add it to the personal so that just shows you you never know what you're going to find at the goodwill outlet so now it's over until next time see you guys